Σε αυτό το σημείο θα καλέσω το φιλέλληνα Byron Rugby. Rugby. Θα μα πει λίγα λόγια για την ζωγράφο, λογοτέχνηνα και καλή μα φίλη Παναγιώτα Σταματοπούλου. I want to say that she has many talents. She came to Australia at the age of six. She comes from a family in village Palagion, near Tripoli, who were a family of artists and musicians who, for many years, generations, had followed the tradition of Arcadia of happiness and rejoicing. The word Arcadian in English means everything innocent, delightful, to do with naturalness. And Paniata has preserved in her character, another Greek word, uh, that quality of innocence which has allowed her to keep in touch with the creativity and the joy of childhood and combine that with the skill and discipline of art in several fields, in painting, in poetry, in music, in healing and health, and also in spiritual development. So in many ways I regard Paniota's art as really her way of living, and poetry is a part of that. Uh, painting is a part of it, healing is a part of it, spiritual development is a part of it, and music is a part of that. Something fundamental to all of art and this is really what I think is the essence of Panayotis Stamatopoulos' artistic development, is that every art, whether it's vision, hearing, taste, touch, or smell, every art expresses that fundamental field of being, ondos, idea, there, skepsi. There's a a root, a radical deep level of being that expresses through idea, thought, and then artistic expression. And the channel that conducts that creativity <coughs> from being, universal being, to artistic expression is the work. Logos. And I think that the essence of every art is therefore language, the glossary of living. Even if you're a painter or a musician, the essence of that artistic activity is the word. And Panietta has always kept the word the poetic value at the basis of her other arts of music and healing and spirituality and writing. And that's why in a way it's so delightful to me now to be speaking to the Greek community because we have gained in English such a wealth of language from Greece and with that language, such a wealth of ideas and concepts, our whole thought process, process is Hellenic. And in Paniota's work, I have noticed that she always has words. Paniota, in English, is the master of neologism.
we have an English word neologism, which you will understand. Neologism. And she creates new English words mainly out of Greek. And I write them down and I send them to my families because they are wonderful new creations of ideas. In many ways, the poetry, as I've seen it translated, and in her English poetry also, she creates combinations of thought in new, new combinations of words or new shapes of words which have not been heard before. And I very much enjoy experiencing and watching her progress in life and in art through this wonderful medium of language. And I want to thank Paniota for enabling me to see the roots of my own language in Greek and in the, the parent of all European languages, Sanskrit and Indo-European. And I also want to thank the uh, Greek community and the Hellen Hellenic Writers Association and your great leaders and the great General Garibaldi <laughs> for allowing me to talk to you and just for a few moments bathe in your collective consciousness and to celebrate you with the with you the art of my friend and also the art of all of you. It's amazing that we can have in Melbourne such a group of people dedicated to poetry and writing. It used to be like that in English. In 1900, the poet laureate, later poet laureate John Maysfield, ran poetry readings. And in London, a thousand people would come to listen to poetry. Let's try to get a thousand English-speaking Australians to listen to poetry. <laughs> but let's try to get a thousand Greeks, it wouldn't be very difficult. So you are the upholders of poetry in Melbourne, I believe. And I'm very happy to be able to speak on behalf of my friend Tanya Paniota and describe what I think of the poetry and art. Uh, thank you very much.